We asked several people on the street if they would want to know if they carried a genetic mutation that could potentially kill them. When informed total stomach removal would be the only cure, these were their responses. This is like a life or death situation. That might be a little extreme. Probably. It would be a hard decision, but I think I would, I would choose it. Would I be able to eat? No. You would not? No. Yeah, I think I would wait until it was cancer. If I did have my stomach removed, how would life be after that? As long as I, I survive and I don't pass on this genetic um, abnormality to my children, then yes. These are the faces of the inherited CDH1 genetic mutation. Mutations in the CDH1 gene cause the syndrome hereditary diffuse gastric cancer, HDGC, which gives a person up to a 70% chance of developing an aggressive form of diffuse stomach cancer. 95% of carriers are currently living with stage 1 HDGC and aren't even aware of its presence. If the cancer were to advance to a higher stage, treatment options are limited and don't guarantee a cure. In addition, this mutation significantly increases one's risk of developing lobular breast cancer. Parents who carry this mutation are plagued with the idea that their children have a 50% chance of inheriting the CDH1 mutation. Currently, total stomach removal is the only preventative measure for HDGC. Some opt for surveillance, but even then, the chances of finding this difficult to detect cancer are rare. Because it is diffuse, the cancer cannot always be seen until it develops into an advanced stage. The five-year survival rate of stage four diffuse gastric cancer is only 5%. Likewise, lobular breast cancer is difficult to detect. Often, even with biannual screenings, prophylactic bilateral mastectomy is recommended. The preventative surgery to remove one's stomach can eliminate the threat of gastric cancer advancing, but this surgery comes with its own set of risks. More research and treatment options must be made available for those that carry this deadly mutation and the children who await their potential diagnosis. Our hope for the future generations lay in the hands of Professor Perry Guilford, the director of the University of Otago Center for Translational Cancer Research. Hello, my name is Perry Guilford. In 1995, my laboratory here in Dunedin, New Zealand, formed a partnership with a New Zealand Maori family with a very long history of stomach cancer. Together, in 1997, we were able to show that this risk of cancer was caused by mutations in a gene called CDH1. We and others have since gone on to show that CDH1 is causing cancer in families all around the world. In many cases, this cancer occurs at a very young age. The youngest we've seen here in New Zealand is a boy who is aged 14 years of age when he died of that disease. Currently, the only way to ensure that somebody who has a CDH1 mutation does not develop advanced uh, stomach cancer is to have their stomachs removed surgically. Obviously, this is a really serious operation and it has lifelong consequences and complications. As a result, our lab has been working really, really hard over the last 10 years to try and identify some other method which we can use to, to reduce the risk of cancer uh, in these families with CDH1 mutations. The approach we've been taking is called chemoprevention, where we try and identify a drug which can be used to stop the disease developing in the first place. We're making very good progress on, on this uh, objective. We've screened thousands and thousands of drugs already, and we're really confident we'll start to get into clinical trials within the next two to three years. We use these photographs as inspiration for our research. Each of these children has a 50-50 chance of having a mutation in the gene CDH1. And if they do, they're facing the future without a stomach. I promise the parents of these children that by the time they get to the age to make that decision whether to keep their stomach or not, then we'll have some alternative for them. Help me keep my promise. So with your help and your generosity, we together, we can remove the fear from CH1. So thank you very much. Help us find an alternative treatment to stomach removal by sending your donations to saveourstomachs.org.